Hey! Let's take a quick blast up there, what do you say? Whoop! Point in the right direction. And... Let's do it on manual this time. Blast off! Just a quick look. I'm actually in a magnetic quiet zone, so I have no idea if it is just let loose a X9. For all I know, out of 1164. Ah, dang, the trees are in the way. Okay, gotta take the filter off. Close your eyes. Shields down! Let's go back to auto and see what it does. Shield back. A little bit of overhaze in the way I can't go up any. In magnification, I'm at 90 again. That little branch you see on the left side is a kilometer away. Okay, let's come back down. I'll just anchor the tractor beam onto the big old iron dinosaur behind me. Should take but a second. Ooh. Oh, 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 crap. <sighs> Not very good at this. Where's the dogs? <sighs> I really gotta get the spaceship fixed. This your yoga jumping is... <laughs> Stellar-wise, it's just a little too hard, you know. I just can't get a good nose filter. So we combine my CO2 back into O2. Hey guys. <sighs> uh, so, were you guys, um, did you miss me? No. Uh, did you find any green grass? So it's good to have somebody home waiting for you, you know, it just kind of helps you make sure you get back home after a trip. First thing you see is those who love you so much that they want to be with you. Okay, she's going right up to 90 again down here. Okay, well, you don't really need to see. Cindy's earwax. And I'll give you a view from here before I shut her down. <sighs> hey, so what am I looking? I'm looking south southwest. And that is. I'm trying to think now. Okay, well, first, that first ridge there, that's part of the Innakeep Reserve. Those, like I said, there's. Two different plates there. The mountain range in behind is a whole different tectonic plate. Well, a terrain, which is like a subdivision of a plate. If you go with you know, conventional geology, anarchist. That, well, we're going right up to now. That would be the northeast side of Anarchist. So I am northeast of Anarchist. <clears throat> I never did set up a base yet. On the direct opposite side, the southwest of Anarchist, like I said I was going to. <clears throat> Basically, I just needed to be in the desert more. A nice place in the summer, though. 
but you know there you you literally have snow for about four months frost for five here snow well over a total of 60 days maybe maybe 30 days worth 25 days on average sometimes none sometimes you know five days a year of snow and occasionally you know 65 days of snow but on average Probably about 35 days of snow. You know, short little dry, mild warm winters. You know, it's, it's considered really cold when it gets down to minus 12 at night. Which doesn't mean it can't get to minus 30 on rare occasion and has. Just means it doesn't often. It's probably why they one of the reasons why they grow lots of grapes here. Oops, uh, well, peeking in the neighbor's uh, window there. I don't want to see what they're doing in their bedroom. <laughs> That's that nice little silvery willow tree. I think I included it in the earliest video. It hasn't got its leaves now, it finally dropped them. Yeah, well, I won't do that because <coughs> I haven't learned how to rotate a frame yet. It's a nifty tree though. And this is just wild cow pasture. It may it probably was cultivated in vegetables, you know, like squash and tomatoes. No, I doubt it now. It's it's too soggy here. Well, I don't really know. I'm sure it was Something more intensive, agriculturally speaking. But now it's just pasture. Self waters from the irrigation canal that goes around it. And it is very swampy. Probably quicksand in there. Cows only go in when it's frozen. And the wildlife preserve. I'll show you the duck pond from here. There's an idea. Because you guys don't know any of this. You've never actually been here. It's just whatever you picked up <coughs> from my little bit of videos. But now the whole world gets to see this lovely place. There, I'm going to take us to the duck pond now. See, that's the road. There's the road. And behind these bushes is the duck pond. That's all, even though it's on private property, this whole thing is private property. Uh, it, it's actually a wildlife preserve, so you can't do nothing with it that would interfere with the wildlife. And it kind of follows a buffer zone around it, about 10 meters around the low water mark. And it's a fairly stagnant pond. I mean, you know, when it gets... <clears throat> 110 degrees every day in the summer here it, uh, and the water quits flowing in it. It gets pretty stagnant in there. It still supports its own kind of life. It just kind of switches the biozone from... Hmm. We'll have to get it up closer someday for it. Alright, well anyhow here we'll just go for another quick run up the mountain. This is all, all looking south, eh? Take you around now. I'll show you this cul-de-sac or oxbow. What it actually is is it's from water, right? Eh? Deposits from the glacier. You can't really. There's the crane, iron dinosaur. You can't really make it out, but what I'm showing you here is actually a uh, rather steep hill. Uh, with a total elevation of about 900 meters above my head. That's actually 900 meters up to there. This tree's at the top, and then it's all f flat because, like I said, it's another lake bottom on top of there. And this, where I am, is the lower leaves. Basin where all this pasture is. 
<clears throat> from the, the final lake that was here. And it's mostly sand bottom except for where there was enough low enough that the water collected like around here and lots of vegetation filled in. And then of course the whole ecosystem changed big time after World War One when all the, the vets, that's why they actually came here. Here, dig a <coughs> irrigate the place, dig a canal from Penticton down to the Soyuz Lake at near the American border. And uh, you can all have some land for your effort. And, uh, you know, there you go. Start farming, make a life for yourself. No more killing. We never should have sent you over there in the first place. What the fuck were we thinking? By we, of course, don't mean me. I'd put my life in front of any army to stop them from hurting themselves or others. I think we all should. you have peace, you have a chance. If you do not have peace, you, you don't really have anything. You have a struggle, a competitive struggle. Anyhow, that's, uh, that's it then. We're, we're back now. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry, dog, I stepped on your tail there. Uh, should we go home, guys? Uh, well, hey, once again, thanks for tripping with me. It's, um, it's a pleasure to be able to share this with, uh, everyone. Maybe some of you will even come to this area one day and have a visit. It's, it's quite touristy. And it's not so packed anymore. Last year was really slow, like, like everywhere. So, you know, well, I'll leave that with you. Could we make a more? I'm going to show you the whole valley now that I'm re I've been retired.